the US is considering sending 100 striker armored vehicles to Ukraine in an upcoming phase of military assistance. This comes less than a week after announcing the delivery of the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle to support the Ukrainian Motorized Rifle Brigade. The plan comes as Ukrainian officials, including President Zelensky, urge allies to provide more battle tanks, artillery and long-range missile systems to help repel the Russian invasion. Ukraine urged its Western allies on Thursday, the 19th of January 2023 to rush to supply tanks and air defenses to Kiev. Head of the Presidential Administration of Ukraine, Andriy Yermak said that his country currently has no time, we don't have time, the world doesn't have time right now, said Andriy Yermak, Thursday, the 19th of January 2023. He said the supply was risking the lives of Ukrainians on the front lines over the slow pace of discussions in foreign capitals. We are paying for slowness with the lives of our Ukrainian people. It should not be like that, he added. The tank problem for Ukraine must be closed as soon as possible. Just like the question about additional air defense systems, Yermak continued. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said, the United States continues its rally around the world to help Ukraine. We have seen solidarity from allies and partners, including in the Ukraine Defense Contact Group today, and we applaud the more than 50 countries that came forward together to make a significant contribution to support Ukraine, he added. He also added that Russia itself is actually capable of ending the current war. But until that day comes, we will unite with Ukraine as long as necessary, he continued. For the US, this package is the second largest in providing aid to Ukraine. Currently, the superpower has provided aid worth 26.7 million US dollars, RP.404 trillion to Ukraine since Russia invaded that country in February. The Striker is a family of eight-wheeled armored fighting vehicles. The Striker vehicles are manufactured by General Dynamics Land Systems Canada. GDLSC for the United States Army at a factory in London, Ontario. It has four-wheel drive, 8x4, and can be switched to all-wheel drive, 8x8. The Striker can carry a full squad of nine infantry and two crew members. It was equipped with a 30mm gun, machine gun, and or grenade launcher, and could travel up to 60 miles per hour, nearly 100 kilometers per hour. It runs on eight wheels, which makes it more agile, fast and fuel efficient. The Striker is a lighter armored vehicle, because it has wheels, it can move faster on paved roads, which means it can put infantry squadrons into battle more quickly. The Striker armored vehicle is the main tool of the US-made weapons system that is in the spotlight. Used by the United States military since 2002, the Striker was used in the Iraq War, the Syrian Civil War, and the Afghanistan War. Two cannons are the Striker's main weapon. The two guns were the MK-44 Bushmaster 230mm and the M68A2 105mm guns. In addition, the M2 machine gun is also included in the primary armament. The Striker is capable of a top speed of 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, and has an operational range of 300 miles, 500 kilometers. 
Capable of being flown by the C-130 Hercules, the Striker can reach the combat zone much more quickly than the Abrams tank, which has been criticized for being too heavy and unable to cope with off-road situations. While the Striker is not as powerful or as protective as a tank, this eight-wheeled armored fighting vehicle made by General Dynamics Land Systems can operate in snow, mud, and sand, although off-road mobility is somewhat limited by a lack of track. Strikers will be another capability upgrade to Kiev's rapidly expanding arsenal and will help meet a critical need for armor, as fears grow that Russia is planning a second mobilization for a new major offensive in the coming weeks.